Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're bringing you a significant update on Iraq's financial land escape. Next week, a crucial meeting is set to take place involving all executive levels of Iraq's banks and the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Mr. Alec. This high-profile discussion will focus on the implementation of new currency policies and what this means for Iraq's economy. Let's break down what's expected from this pivotal event and its potential impact on the financial sector. In a move that signals a major shift in Iraq's financial strategy, all top executives from Iraq's leading banks will convene with Governor Alak of the Central Bank of Iraq. This meeting is set to outline detailed instructions on the forthcoming changes to the currency system. For those who may not be familiar, the governor will provide guidance on several critical aspects of the new currency implementation. So, what's on the agenda for this high-stakes meeting? The central bank is expected to detail the new currency's design and the operational changes required to integrate it into the existing financial system. This includes the introduction of new banknotes, adjustments to financial transactions, and updates to banking technology to accommodate the changes. The new currency design will likely feature updated security measures to prevent counterfeiting and enhance the reliability of the dinar. This is a critical aspect of the redenomination process, ensuring that the new banknotes are both secure and user-friendly. To ensure a smooth transition, banks will undergo comprehensive training programs. These sessions will prepare bank staff to handle the new currency efficiently and assist customers in understanding the changes. This preparatory work is vital to avoid confusion and ensure that both financial institutions and the public are ready for the new system. Financial experts stress that such meetings are essential for coordinating the rollout of new currency policies. Clear communication between the central bank and commercial banks helps align efforts and mitigate potential challenges. It's also an opportunity for banks to raise concerns and seek clarification on the new procedures. The implications of these changes extend beyond just the currency itself. The introduction of a new currency system is part of a broader strategy to enhance Iraq's economic stability and efficiency. By modernizing the currency and improving financial infrastructure, Iraq aims to foster a more robust and reliable economic environment. Public awareness will be another crucial component of the rollout. Information campaigns will likely be launched to educate citizens about the new currency, how it will be used, and what steps they need to take. Ensuring that the public is well informed will help facilitate a smooth transition and build confidence in the new system. This meeting is a significant milestone in Iraq's journey toward economic modernization. By aligning the efforts of the central bank with those of commercial banks, Iraq is setting the stage for a more efficient and secure financial system. The changes to the currency are not just about updating notice or they're about enhancing Iraq's financial infrastructure and positioning the country for future growth. For more updates on this important development and to stay informed about how these changes will affect the Iraqi economy, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll continue to provide you with the latest news and detailed analysis as this story unfolds. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth coverage of Iraq's economic and financial developments. Until next time, keep engaged and stay informed with all the latest news from the world of finance.